All right, welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to show you how you can add subtitles to your videos. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So as you can see, I have three clips in here, a dragonfly, a chameleon, and a parrot. And to add subtitles is really simple. All we have to do is right click on one of our video tracks and click on add subtitle. Now, as you can see, nothing happened so far. And to actually start it up, we need to make sure that we have the subtitle track enabled. So in this case, we just have to click on ST1, which is going to be the subtitle track number one. And you can see in the top right hand corner in the inspector, we now have some new options. We have caption and style. And to create the actual subtitles, just click on this button that says create caption. And now what we can do, we can drag these around manually or or we can basically also type it in here if we wanted exact and precise moments as to where it starts and where it ends. So if I change this to 05 and change this to 07, we can see that it did shift, but you can also just move it around. So if I wanted my subtitle to start right there, now to change the actual text, just highlight where it says subtitle and type in whatever you want. I'll just put in the words dragonfly. And you'll see in a second, it's just going to pop up there with the word dragonfly. We wanted to move this around, change the color, do anything like that that we'd normally be able to do with text. Just go into the style option. And if I wanted it to be hot pink, we can do that. And if we wanted to increase or decrease the border, that's going to be under stroke here. So I'm just going to get rid of it entirely. Maybe make my text a little bit bigger. And if I wanted to move it down, maybe just move it to somewhere around here. Perfect. So now we have one created. If we wanted to extend it or shrink it down in terms of length, we can do that as well. We can move it, we can shrink it down. And if we wanted to create another one where the chameleon is, I'm just going to move my playhead over to where I wanted it. So if I wanted it to be right there, I just have to click on the subtitle track again and hit add new. Pretty simple. For this one, I'm going to highlight it and change it to chameleon. And it remembers the style of the previous one, so you don't have to worry about making all of these match. To add a third one, straightforward, add new. And here I'm just going to type in bird. And there we go. Now we have three of these subtitles or captions or however you want to think of them. And when it comes time to exporting, that's pretty simple as well. We go over to our deliver tab, put in the usual settings that you normally would, and just make sure to click on this subtitle settings drop down and click on export subtitles. Now you're going to have three different options. The first one is as separate file. And basically just think of that as your YouTube setting. Make sure to keep SRT as your export type. You can also choose the option to burn into the video. So that means whenever the subtitles are on the screen, it's going to be on the screen no matter what. The end user doesn't get a choice. It's going to be there. And finally, we have as embedded captions. And this is usually for television where the user has an option of flipping it on and off with a TV remote. So just think of it as TV for embedded captions, burn into video if you're using it for social media or something like that that doesn't have a switchable subtitles or captions, so it's always going to be there. And as separate video, or sorry, as a separate file, if you're doing things for YouTube, this would be the option that I would recommend. And if this video was helpful at all, please let me know in the comments below, as well as letting me know what you'd like to see in future episodes. I want to create content that you want to see, so let me know what it is that you want to see. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.